Hi guys, today's video is going to be a, a quick review of a new product, not new product, but a newer product that I'm actually really excited about. I finally picked it up a couple of weeks ago from Sephora and uh, I, I'm actually really impressed with it. I just kind of wanted to talk about it a little bit, put it out there, give a little bit of a comparison um, to a product I think that it's, it's uh, fairly comparable to. So I will go ahead and just jump in. It is the Sephora Bright Future Gel Serum Concealer. It looks like this. Um, um, anyway, it is Sephora brand. It is, again, their Bright Future Gel Serum Concealer. And uh, I heard a lot of people talking about this before I picked it up. So I was really curious about it. So I picked it up. The formula is great. Um, I'm just going to put a little on my hand here. Formula is great. It's extremely blendable, buildable, melts into the skin um, in the best way. Really kind of suspends over the spots where you're trying to conceal. It doesn't, I don't, I find that it doesn't sink into fine lines or into any creases or anything like that. Um, I do set this with a powder anywhere that I put this, um, and I find that that obviously helps, but that helps with any concealer. So I got the shade. Meringue 02. Looks like this. It does have a little bit of a pinky kind of salmon-y undertone, which I'm okay with. Um, it does help a little bit with under eye darkness, the uh, the cor color correction of that. So it's really nice. As you can see, I'm just kind of blending it into the skin here. Of course, the back of my hand is very, very fair. Um, but anyway, so I really, really like this stuff. Um, it was about $14 from Sephora. It is, again, Sephora brand. And um, honestly, I would say that I would compare it to the Urban Decay um, Naked Weightless Naked Skin Weightless Concealer, whatever it's called. Um, I actually do not own it, but I've played with it a thousand times in the store. They just never have my shade um, but I would compare this to it of course it's a cheaper alternative um, which is always good but you know is it an exact dupe probably not um, but is it really good for its price point um, and things like that yes they do have a really good selection of shades um, I believe I'm gonna guess I'm guessing let's look it up Okay, it looks like, oh, there's a lot of shades. There's a lot of shades. I'm not going to count them all. Uh, I'm going to say, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. there's probably about 20 to 25 different shades, which is a pretty good selection for a concealer. Um, I'm actually really, really excited about this product. I'm glad I picked it up. I will be repurchasing it once this one is out. Um, I actually have it on my under eyes today. Um, it is kind of the end of the day, so this is pretty pretty worn down. I've been sweating and things like that. Um, so I've been wearing it all day. I actually went very, very light on the powder I used to set this, um, so it probably doesn't even look as good as it has the potential to look. Um, but I really like this product. Again, it's about $14. Um, the only thing I do not love about it is the shape of the applicator. <clears throat> it's not your typical doe foot applicator. It's just kind of like a rounded dome. I don't know if you can see. That's not going to help you. It's just kind of like a rounded dome. Um, so normally when you've got a doe foot applicator you can kind of you know drag down like this and just kind of swipe it along where you want the coverage. This I find that you can't really do that because the product is not really on the sides. It's on the top. Um, so I do find that I've been kind of dotting this on, which maybe did they do that on purpose because you're really not supposed to like drag on your skin. Maybe they did. I can't say for sure. If you did, good job, Sephora. Um, otherwise, <clears throat> I mean, not that I take a concealer wand and like like all over my face. But um, I do really like this. That's the only one thing that I do not love about the product is the shape of the applicator. Other than that, great product. About $14 at Sephora. Again, this is the shade Meringue 02. Um, I am pretty fair. I usually am the fairest shade in almost every single brand, every single line, everything like that. Um, the only shade... I think there was only one, maybe two shades that were any lighter than this, but the one was basically like stark white, which I don't want. 
I do appreciate a good bright under eye, but I didn't want to go too crazy. So I got the shade Meringue 02. I think there was a shade or two lighter than this, but um, I may actually go back and try to get a couple darker shades to use for like contouring and like a little bit of bronzing, um, but we'll see. Um, anyways, great job Sephora. Really excited about this. If you're in Sephora, I recommend you pick it up. I would say that it is comparable to the Urban Decay um, Naked Skin Weightless Concealer, whatever it's called. I know it's quite a mouthful, but I would say it's comparable. Is it an exact dupe? I don't know that I would say that, but it's comparable, and uh, it sounds like there's obviously some kind of serum in here. Let's also look at that. <clears throat> okay, so Sephora's website says it's a lightweight gel serum concealer featuring brightening properties and a unique applicator that's perfect for the sensitive under eye area. So it's sounding like they do actually want you to dot it instead of dragging it like you normally would with like a doe foot applicator. Um, and what this says, <clears throat> what it does, uh, ideal for under eye use, this gel serum concealer within, or I'm sorry, with 21% pigment is feather light and never settles into fine lines. It is infused with pineapple ceramide, which helps to improve skin texture and promote brightness. The formula is buildable in color and coverage without adding texture due to the high level of pigments. The unique domed applicator acts like a cotton swab to provide the perfect amount of product every time. Just dip, dot, and blend. I don't know that I could have described anything about this. More on the money with Sephora's website. Um, says that there are no parabens in this, which is nice. Um, it says, what else you need to know? This product offers the largest concealer shade range currently available at Sephora, and it is not tested on animals, which is also nice to know. Um, so yeah, I'm really, really excited about this product. Uh, I recommend picking it up. Uh, it's much cheaper than a lot of the stuff that they sell there because it is Sephora's brand. I would say that Sephora has really been stepping up their game with their own line because they do have such a vast... Um, um, you know, a, a large variety of products there in the store between all the different brands that they sell. So I think they've really been stepping it up. Kudos to Sephora. Uh, love this product. That's all I have to say. The only other thing I do want to mention is, of course, please be nice to yourself and be kind to each other. Bye, guys.